So in this video, we'll take a walk through how to use the lead section, which is over here on the left hand side of your menu in Perfex. Perfex Leads is a wonderful feature designed to streamline and optimize your lead management process, helping you transform potential opportunities, which what leads are, into valuable business relationships. And in today's complex landscape, with us trying to manage and grow our businesses, it really can effectively help us track, assign, and manage leads, whether it's just to ourselves or to people within our teams. Let's go to leads and talk through some of the key features, how to use them and what best to do with them. Okay, so let's firstly go to click on new lead, which is how you capture a new lead information. Leads allows, lead capture allows you to effortlessly capture your lead from different sources. So you start off by saying where the source is, where did it actually come from. And in this tutorial, I'm actually going to flip to my system as well so that I can show you how I've customized this section where I can say if I got my lead as a cold lead, a BNI deferral, came through Google, LinkedIn, a website and so forth. Now you're wondering, how did I do that? OK, I simply did that by going into the setup area. Clicked on setup. And then on the lead section, and I simply clicked on sources. And this allowed me to add new and different types of sources to my list. Okay, so you need administration access to do that. So when we go back and we have a look at our statuses, let's go there. Okay, we move back to leads. When we capture a new lead, we capture how we got the lead in. What is the status of the lead? So initially, any lead coming in should be new. Okay, but maybe you've already briefly spoken to somebody about sending them a possible proposal um, or working with them. But ideally, your status would be new. Then you have the opportunity to assign it to one of your staff members. And then you would fill in contact information regarding that person here yeah. okay so let's just go and put in some information with regards to this person the address country description and of course some information maybe about how you met them i would advise that you never make the lead public Simply because if you have a business and you have different people performing different functions who have different roles in the company, by making a lead public, if somebody is working in on your system, but they don't have a role that allows them to see leads, if a lead is marked public, they will see it. Okay, so we do not click public. And then we click save. And then we have our lead actually saved. So the leads fields are very customizable, just like I showed you how we would customize the source, we can customize the statuses as well. Okay, so once we go and we look at our leads fields, we actually have the ability to tailor them specifically to what we may need through changing our sources, our statuses, and so forth. Now we also have the ability to segment leads. So by segmenting our leads, we actually segment them into the different statuses. So what you see now is that all of these statuses are new, but they can change and they can be in different statuses, depending what happens. Maybe a customer has accepted a proposal or they've become a customer, okay? But as you work through more and more customers or get more and more leads, this is a very hard view to work with. So if you go down to the filtering section, you can actually filter and you can look at one specific view. Maybe you'd like to see all the new leads that have come up, and then you can obviously see how that pops through. 
maybe you specifically are looking at what one employee has been doing and this is how it comes that we can actually assign track and manage we can see here that one employee has one lead they're busy following up on them okay they've added in different tags to that you've agreed to to show you where they are in the system you can also very importantly see how that source came through how that lead came through also when it was created versus when it was last contacted so if you're managing your staff and you want to see what have they been up to work wise and it's important to see actually what have they been doing with your customers and when last they made a note on the system or did any activity related to that customer so now let's explore what are the fields that open up for lead management so firstly there's your profile page and if you would like to add in information as you get it you simply click on edit and now possibly you have received this person's telephone number and you can save that Second to that, you can send a proposal to this client as well, which is something you would normally do. And a proposal consists of a quote. That's why it's picked up and it's gone into the subject. And it could be, you know, quote for work to be done. Well, when is that quote open? And of course, your draft status is. Now, I'm going to cover how to do proposals in billing when I do a billing video, so I won't go any further now. But just know that you can also set up a proposal while somebody is in lead status. You can assign and create tasks. So this is specific if you also have um, a process in your business and you say you've got your salespeople, they've got a lead, you maybe want to know when have you called them, or I want you to do a presentation, go visit in person, go and do these things, then this is where you would want them to do the activities that you have for them. Possibly as part of that lead um, activity, part of that is doing a quote. And in some cases, you need to take pictures. So if you're like in the building trade or the plumbing trade, and for a job to be done, you need to firstly take pictures of it. Where would you store those pictures? So instead of storing them on email or in a drop folder initially, you can store them straight up to the system. You can actually have um, an employee take pictures on their phone and then from their cell phone, because Perfex is web friendly, uh, sorry, mobile friendly, they can immediately actually upload those pictures to a leads account. Employees can set a reminder so if they want to check in on this customer every day every week at 11 30 they can set a reminder for themselves to say call customer this is especially useful if a customer has requested a call and they can have themselves an email reminder sent okay so we create those activities if there's special notes that you want to attach here you can simply say, ah, oh, when I got in touch with this customer, I contacted them today. They said to me, Zzzz. and I encourage you to have this process where you have people add notes and track their interactions with a customer, simply because if you need to have somebody else pick up from this person, it makes it much easier. Okay. And then the activity log, allows you to see what actually happened with this customer so now another brilliant thing that happens and we'll talk about it when we talk about the customer module in a lot more detail is that when somebody actually accepts your proposal for work they move from being a lead to being a customer now a lot of time you might have traditionally had it as a different system but with Perfix, because your leads and your customers and your billing um, and your task management is all one system, you simply need to click one button, which is convert to customer. And all this lead information now becomes contact information for an actual customer. All the notes that you had written, your attachments, your reminders, all of that move over as well. 
Okay, so we've covered the profile, how to edit the profile, the fact that we can actually send a proposal involving our quote and possibly our company profile from the system. Okay, we can set up tasks depending on what our physical process is. We can have tasks here and assign it to different people. We can have attachments, which is very useful, especially if you're working in a trade uh, where you need to take pictures or have before and after pictures. You can set up reminders. So if a customer has asked you to specifically contact him at a certain time, you can do that. And of course, your attempts to contact all the conversations that you have, you can simply go to notes and say, I got in touch with him. I didn't get in touch with him. And this is what we had to say. And that updates the activity, the last contacted bird. And then activity allows us to actually follow up on that. Okay, so that's a great um, sort of first view for the lead section. So besides having the ability to record, assign, and track and manage our leads, we also have the ability to convert them to customers create proposals while they're in lead station status, as well as we have the ability to set goals um, linked to our actual leads. So we have a, um, another module called goals, as you can see where I'm going to. And you can actually set a goal for how many customers, for example, you want to reach in a certain period. So what's popular is that we set goals for how many customers, how many leads we want to convert, how many possible um, turnover you want to reach. So this allows you to manage your leads to customer, your sales process a lot better. And as you can see here, you get to pick the type of goal, the staff members included, the achievement they would have, the date line, so things usually could start, you know, from the 1st of August, in this case, to the 30th. We're maybe going to try and reach 30 customers and maybe we only have uh, one or two sales staff that we want to highlight. But if it's all, the, it's, if it's everybody, it's everybody, then you don't highlight anybody. And maybe our vote is to convert X amount of of people and we just want to make a note and then you can notify the staff members about the goal and you can notify them also when or not if they have failed the goal okay the system will know this because the system knows how many times in a set period the convert to customer button had been clicked so the next thing that we want to look at is actually where our leads come from and how we can get them into our system sooner so most of us have, as I have here, a contact page on your website. And you'll have customers who will come here and they'll actually go and they'll submit their information. And they'll, you know, our numbers, the system will know. It will submit the information and it will then, you know, submit and it goes somewhere. Now, usually sometimes it goes to an email or it goes into a system. When you have perfects, it also goes into a system. It goes into your leads system, okay? So as you'll see here, is that I just clicked on, um, on the system and I brought in lead that, and it's recorded certain information that it's taken from this client, okay? Now, I got an email as well, which you'll see here, advising me that a lead has come through. How did I do all of this? Sorry, within the setup section, under leads, we have the ability to do what we call web to lead section. So from our website, we set up a form and I'll take you through my form. I chose the fields. I said who, this, who is responsible and what the status will be and the source will be when the form comes through. And then I generated a piece of code, which I placed on my website. Somebody actually goes in and fills in this form. It automatically goes into my system and sends me an email so that I know that there's a, there's a lead waiting for me. We also have an email 
to lead integration, meaning that if you have one email address that people usually send to for information, that email can be sucked up into Perfects as well. Okay. And then through different add-ons for Facebook you um, or other social media tools, you can actually bring in leads through different social media tools as well. A popular module add-on as well with the lead section is actually for email marketing. Um, in Perfects itself, at the core module, it doesn't do email marketing, even though a lot of people use the survey section uh, to send out bulk emails. Uh, but that's not actually the function of it, but it is possible. The other thing I'd like to tell you about is the report section. So as you can see here under reports, you can actually go and see uh, reports around leads. You can have a general overview of a specific month, or you can switch to the staff report where you can actually pick a specific date and you can check out what certain staff members are doing during that date, how many leads they've created, lost, and converted. That's us covering the lead section in Perfects and everything that it has to offer. Remember, when we go through goals, proposals, and the customer section, we'll touch briefly on leads again because those sections all interact together. Thank you for your time. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me.